Fines Herbs, Wikipedia Audio Fines Herbs designates an important combination of herbs that forms a mainstay of French cuisine. The canonic fines herbs of French haute cuisine comprise finely chopped parsley, chives, tarragon, and chervil. These are employed in seasoning delicate dishes such as chicken, fish, and eggs, that need a relatively short cooking period and also used in a bar blanc sauce for seasoning such dishes. Fines herbs are also eaten raw in salads. In 1903, the renowned chef Augusta Escoffier noted that dishes labeled auxiliary fines herbs were sometimes being made with parsley alone. In his culinary guide, Escoffier insisted that It is a mistake to serve, under the name omelette auxiliary fines herbs, an omelette in which chopped parsley furnishes the only aromatic note. This error is too widespread for us to hope to overturn it. Nevertheless, it should be stressed that an omelette auxiliary fines herbs must contain, parsley, chives, and a little chervil and tarragon. The Classic Mixture 35 years later, under the entry fines herbs, the authoritative Larousse Gastronomic of 1938 conceded that, generally speaking, an omelette auxiliary fines herbs was still most frequently being seasoned only with chopped parsley, but repeated Escoffier's admonition that it ought to contain a combination of fragrant herbs, such as, parsley, chervil, tarragon, and also chives. For in former times this was the traditional practice, when to the aforementioned herbs, chopped mushrooms, and even truffles, would be added. Julia Child also echoes Escoffier, a mixture of fresh parsley, chives, tarragon, and chervil is called fines herbs, while Alan Davidson, author of the Oxford Companion to Food, identifies chopped fresh parsley as the minimalist basis of the fines herbs mix, with the addition of any of, chervil, tarragon, chives, noting that the number of different herbs to be used is far from fixed. Food scientist Harold McGee's definition, on the other hand, limits the number of fines herbs to tarragon, chervil, chive, and omits parsley altogether. McGee also recommends that the herbs be finely chopped using a sharp knife rather than a food processor since food processors slice into herbs and introduce a lot of air and therefore aroma-altering oxygen. A living tradition, such as cooking, is always subject to variation and recreation. For example, in his memoirs, the late Pierre Franey, former chef at L.E. Pavillon and longtime New York Times columnist, vividly recalled his trepidation when as an teenaged apprentice chef, he was ordered to prepare a simple omelette auxiliary fines herbs three eggs, chervil, parsley, tarragon, chives the first omelette I was assigned to prepare for paying guests, after a considerable amount of practicing on others. In his anxiety he almost spoiled the dish. Yet, in his accompanying recipe for Americans printed in the same book, Franey substitutes basil for the chervil, doubtless because especially in the United States, chervil, unless homegrown, can be virtually impossible to obtain when fresh and is virtually worthless when dried. In general, definitions of the Fines Herbs group in American cookbooks have tended to be somewhat elastic. James Beard's Fireside Cookbook, for example, contains a recipe for what he calls a fines herbs bowl, a dip featuring chopped parsley, chives, dill, chopped green pepper, and salt, mixed into a pint of sour cream. In his subsequent discussion of salad herbs, Beard lists, one tarragon, the most pleasant salad herb. Use the fresh if you can, two chervil, which he calls delicate and subtle, three fresh dill, 
which Beard recommends especially for salads containing cucumber or cabbage, and for sweet basil, a natural complement to tomatoes. Beard identifies these four herbs tarragon, chervil, dill, and basil as, the noblest of the salad herbs, noting parenthetically, however, that some people like to use a little thyme or rosemary. Finally, the basis of the French finds herbs line up, parsley, although not one of Beard's aforementioned noble salad herbs, yet adds much to many salad mixtures, although in a green salad it has perhaps less place. Oddly, in this discussion of salad herbs, Beard omits chives altogether, though earlier, on page 16 he had called chives, welcome in practically any dish, enhances other flavorings. The fines herbs are sometimes contrasted with the more pungent or resinous robust herbs that appear in a bouquet garni and which, unlike fines herbs, release their flavor in long cooking. However, there is some inconsistency and overlap in terminology. Parsley Tarragon Chervil Chives Substitutions As noble herbs Versus robust herbs Notes